This episode is brought to you by Cisco Educational Premium. One property of Navier Stokes equation is nonlinearity. The Navier Stokes equation are nonlinear partial differential equation in the general case and so remain in almost every real situation. In some cases, such one dimensional flow and Stokes flow or creeping flow, the equation can be simplified to linear equations. The nonlinearity makes most problems difficult or impossible to solve and is the main contributor to the turbulence that the equations model. The nonlinearity is due to convective acceleration, which is an acceleration associated with the change in velocity or position. Hence, any convective flow, whether turbulent or not, will involve nonlinearity. An example of convective but laminar non turbulent flow will be the passage of viscous fluid, for example oil, through a small converging soil. Such flows, whether exactly solvable or not, can often be thoroughly studied and understood. Turbulence is the term dependent chaotic behavior seen in many fluid flows. It is generally believed that is due to the inertia of the fluid as a whole. The culmination of time dependent and convective acceleration hence flows where inertial effects are small tend to be laminar. The Reynolds number quantifies how much the flow is affected by inertia. This belief, though not known with certainty, that if a Stokes equation describes turbulence properly. The numerical solution of the inverse Stokes equations for turbulent flow is extremely difficult and due to the significantly different mixing length scales that are involved in turbulent flow. The stable solution of this requires such a fine mesh resolution that the computational term becomes significantly infeasible for calculation or direct numerical simulation. Attempts to solve a turbulent flow using a laminar solver typically results in time and study solution which fails to converge appropriately. To counter this time average equation such as the Reynolds average Navier Stokes equation runs supplemented with turbulence models are used in practical computational food dynamics CFD applications when modeling turbulent flows. Such models include the Spalat Almaraz, K Omega, K Epsilon, and SST models, which add a variety of additional equations to bring closure to the RANS equations. Large eddy simulation less can also be used to solve this equation numerically. This approach is computationally more expensive in time than in computer memory than RANS, but produces better results because it explicitly solves. The larger, the larger turbulent scales together with supplemental equation for example conservation of mass and one formulated bond condition the never stocks equation seem to model fluid motion accurately even turbulent flows seem on average to agree with real world observations the never stocks equation assume that the fluid being studied is continuum it is infinitely divisible and not composed of particles such as atoms or molecules and is not moving at relativistic velocities. At very small scales or under extreme conditions, real fluids made out of discrete molecules will produce results different from the continuous fluids modeled by any of Stokes equations. For instance, capillarity of internal layers in fluids appears for flow with high gradients. For large nuts and number of problem, the Boltzmann equation may be a suitable replacement. Failing that one may have to resort to molecular dynamics or various hybrid methods. Another limitation is simply the complicated nature of the equations. The time test formulations exist for common fluid families, but the application of the Navier Stokes equation to less common families tend to result in a very complicated formulations and often to open research problems. For this reason, these equations are usually written for Etonian fluids, where the viscosity model is linear. Truly general models for 
the flow of other kinds of fluids such as blood do not exist. The Neverstock's equations, even when written explicitly for specific fluids, are rather generic in nature, and their proper application to specific problems can be very diverse. This is partly because there is an enormous variety of problems that may be modeled ranging from as simple as the distribution of static pressure to as complicated as the multi phase flow driven by surface tension. Generally, the application of the specific problems begin with some flow assumptions and initial stroke boundary condition formulation. This may be followed by scale analysis to further simplify the problem. Assume steady parallel one-dimensional non-convective pressure-driven flow between parallel plates. The resulting scale dimensionless boundary problem is d square u on dy square is equal to negative 1, u0 is equal to u1 is equal to 0. The boundary condition is the no-slip condition. This problem is easily solved for the flow field u y is equal to y minus y square on 2. From this point onward, more quantities of interest can be easily obtained, such as the fiscal drag force or net flow rate. Difficulties may arise when the problem becomes slightly more complicated. A seemingly modest twist on the parallel flow above will be the radial flow between parallel plates. This involves convection and thus nonlinearity. The velocity field may be represented by the function fz and must satisfy the equation as shown. The ordinary differential equation is what is obtained when the neighbor stocks equation are written and the flow assumption applied. Additionally, the pressure gradient is solved for. The nonlinear term makes this a very difficult problem to solve analytically. A lengthy implicit solution may be found, which involves elliptic integrals and rules of cubic polynomials. Issues with the actual existence of solution arise for r greater than 1.41. Approximately, this is not rule 2. The parameter r being the Reynolds number with appropriate chosen scales. This is an example of flow assumptions losing their applicability and an example of the difficulty in high Reynolds number flows. A type of natural convection can be described by Neva Stokes equation is the Rayleigh Bernard convection. It is one of the most commonly studied convection phenomena because of its analytical and experimental accessibility. This episode is brought to you by Cisco Educational Premium. So an exact solutions to the never stocks equation exist. Example of degenerate cases with the nonlinear terms in the never stocks equation equal to zero R Poisel flow, coet flow and the oscillatory stocks bond layer. But also more interesting example solution to the full nonlinear equation exists such as Jeffrey Hamel flow, von Kaman swelling flow, stagnation point flow, Landau squid jet, Taylor Green Fortex. Note that the existence of this exact solution does not imply that they are stable. Turbulence may develop at higher Reynolds numbers. Under additional assumptions, the component paths can be separated. For example, in the case of an unbounded plan and domain with two dimensional incompressible and stationary flow in polar coordinates R phi, the velocity components U R and U phi and pressure P are shown, where N and B are arbitrary constants. The solution is valid in the domain R greater than or equal to 1, and for A less than negative 2 nu. The Cartesian coordinates when the viscosity is 0, nu is equal to 0, that is, the vxy and pxy are shown. Let us look at a three dimensional example. In the case of an unbound Euclidean domain with three dimensional incompressible stationary and with zero viscosity, nu is equal to 0, radial flow in Cartesian coordinates xy and z, the velocity vector. V and pressure P are VXYZ and PXYZ as shown. There is a singularity at X is equivalent to Y is equivalent to Z is equivalent to zero. The steady state example with no singularities comes from considering the flow along the lines of vibration. Vibration. 
Let R be a constant radius over the inner coil. One set of solution is given by P X Y Z. Rho X Y Z. U X Y Z as shown. Where G is equivalent to zero and mu is equivalent to zero. For a period constant N B, this is a solution in a non viscous gas in compressible fluid whose density, velocities, and pressure goes to zero far from the origin. Now, this is not a solution to the clay millennium problem because that refers to the incompressible fluids where a row is a constant, and neither does it deal with the uniqueness of never stocks equation with respect to any turbulence properties. Some exact solutions to the never stocks equation exist. Example of degenerate cases with the nonlinear terms in the never stocks equation equal to zero R for cell flow. Quiet flow and the oscillatory stocks bond layer. But also, more interesting example solution the full nonlinear equation exists, such as Jeffrey Hamel flow, von Kaman swelling flow, stagnation point flow, Landau squid jet, Taylor Green vortex. Note that the existence of this exact solution does not imply that they are stable. Turbulence may develop at higher Reynolds numbers. And additional assumptions the component paths can be separated for example in the case of an unbounded plan and domain with two-dimensional incompressible and stationary flow in polar coordinates r phi the velocity components u r and u phi and pressure p are shown where n and b are arbitrary constants the solution is valid in the domain r greater than or equal to one and for a less than negative 2 new. The Cartesian coordinates when the viscosity is 0, new is equivalent to 0. That is, the Vxy and Pxy are shown. Let us look at a three dimensional example. In the case of an unborn Euclidean domain with three dimensional incompressible stationary and with zero viscosity, new is equivalent to 0. Radial flow in Cartesian coordinates x, y, and z. The velocity vector v and pressure p are v, x, y, z, and p, x, y, z as shown. The, there is a singularity at x is equivalent to y, is equivalent to z, is equivalent to zero. The steady state example with no singularities comes from considering the flow along the lines of vibration. Vibration. Let R be a constant radius over the inner coil. One set of solution is given by P X Y Z, Rho X Y Z, U X Y Z as shown, where G is equivalent to zero and mu is equivalent to zero. For a period constant N B, this is a solution in a non viscous gas in compressible fluid whose density, velocities, and pressure goes to zero far from the origin. No, this is not a solution to the clay millennium problem because that refers to the incompressible fluids where a row is a constant and neither does it deal with the uniqueness of never stocks equation with respect to any turbulence properties. It is also worth pointing out that the components of the velocity factor are exactly those from the Pythagorean quadruple parameterization. Other choices of density and pressure are possible with the same velocity field. Another choice of pressure and density with the same velocity factor above is one where the pressure and density fall to zero at the origin and are highest in central loop at z is equivalent to zero, x square plus y square is equivalent to r square. P x y z and rho x y z is shown. In fact, in general, there are simple solution for any polynomial, polynomial function f where density rho x y z is shown. Two examples of periodic fully three-dimensional fiscal solution are described. These solutions are defined in are defined on a three-dimensional torus. T3 is equivalent to 0L raised to 3 and are characterized by positive and negative velocity, respectively. The solution with positive velocity is given by ux, uy, uz, as shown, where k is equivalent to 2 
by on L. The wave number and the velocity components are normalized so that the average kinetic energy per unit of mass is U20 on 2 at T is equivalent to 0. The pressure field is obtained from the velocity field as P is equivalent to P0 minus rho naught U square on 2 where P0 and rho naught are different values for the pressure and density field respectively. Since both solutions belong to class of the tram flow, the velocity field is parallel to the velocity and for the case with positive velocity it is given by omega is equivalent to root 3 ku. These solutions can be regarded as a generalization in three dimensions of the classic two-dimensional Taylor Green Taylor Green vortex. Wheeled diagrams are bookkeeping graphs that correspond to the Navier-Stokes equations by perturbation expansion of fundamental continuum mechanics. Similar to same um, diagrams in a quantum field theory, these diagrams are an extension of Keldish technique for non-equilibrium processes in fluid dynamics. In other words, these diagrams assign graphs to often turbulent phenomena in turbulent fluids by allowing correlated and interacting fluid particles to obey stochastic processes associated to several random functions in probability distributions. Note that the formulas in this section make use of the single line notation for partial derivatives where, for instance, partial xu means the partial derivative of u with respect to x and partial square y f theta means the second order partial derivative of f theta with respect to y. A 22 paper provides a less costly dynamical and recurrent solution of the never stocks equation for 3D turbulent fluid flows. On suitably short time scale, the dy dynamics of turbulence is deterministic. From general form of never stocks with velocity factor expanded as u is equivalent to ux, uy, uz, sometimes respectively named u, nu, w, we may write the factor equation explicitly as shown. Note that gravity has been accounted for as body force. The values gx, gy, gz will depend on the orientation of gravity with respect to the chosen set of coordinates. The continued equation then reads as shown. When the flow is incompressible, rho does not change for any fluid particles and its material derivative vanishes d rho on dt is equivalent to zero. The continuity equation is reduced to as shown. Thus, for the incompressible version of the never Stokes equation, the second part of the viscous terms will fall away. This system of four equations comprises the most commonly used and studied form. Though comparatively more compact than other representations, it is still a nonlinear system of partial differential equations for which solutions are difficult to obtain. A change of variables on Cartesian equations will yield the following momentum equation for R, phi, and Z, as shown. The gravity component will generally not be constant. However, for most applications, either the coordinates are chosen so that the gravity components are constant, or else it is assumed that gravity is counteracted by a pressure field. For example, flow in horizontal pipe is treated normally without gravity and without a particle pressure gradient. The continuity equation is as shown. This cylindrical representation, representation of the incompressible Navier Stokes equation is second most commonly seen. The first being Cartesian above. Cylindrical coordinates are chosen to take advantage of symmetry so that a velocity component can disappear. A very common case is a seismetric flow with the assumption of no tangential velocity u phi is equivalent to zero and the remaining quantities are independent of phi as shown in spherical coordinates the r phi and theta momentum equation are as shown not the convention used theta is a polar angle or collatitude zero is less than theta less than pi Mass continuity will be shown. 
This equation could be slightly compacted, for example, factoring 1 or an R square from the viscous terms. However, doing so would undesirably alter the structure of Laplacian and other quantities. The Never Stokes equation are used extensively in video games in order to model a wide variety of natural phenomena. Simulations of small scale gaseous fluids such as fire and smoke are often based on seminal paper and I quote real time fluid dynamics for games by Joe Stam, which elaborates one of the methods proposed in Stam's earlier more famous paper and I quote staple fluids from 1999. Stam proposes staple fluid simulation using Navier Stokes solution method from 1968 coupled with an unconditional staple semi Lagrangian advection scheme as first proposed in 1992. More recent implementation based upon this work run on the game systems graphics processing unit GPU as opposed to the central processing unit CPU and achieve much higher degree of performance. Many improvements have been proposed to Stam's original work which suffers inherently from high numerical dissipation in both velocity and mass. Cisco Educational Premium is a section of Cisco Educationals with content that is not hosted here. There are episodes ranging from long to short videos. Remember those good old shots of hours? They are there. So do we get there? Use the link on screen or in the description or in the pinned comment below. Enjoy yourself. And I will see you in the next episode of Cisco Educationals. Yeah.